The problem with the first two Godzilla movies, they tried to be too serious. Yes, you get Tunnel Whiplash being the serious human stuff and the goofy catchy bit. Yeah, 100%. Like, I feel like Khan Sky Island had the perfect balance of that. It did that very well. Like, it gave us some fun, goofy human characters to be with, especially John C. Riley and Samuel Jackson. You know, it's so fun. I mean, Samuel Jackson, he just wants to kill King Khan. He fought the Viet Khan, and now he wants to fight King Khan. Ah, it's like, I love that. That's, that's, that's perfect. And he's the right guy for that. And they gave him a, a lot of fun stuff to do. Hello, and thank you for checking out the video. I just want to let you know that I not only create content on my YouTube channel, Class in the Glass, but I'm also on Twitch, where I review movies, cartoons, and TV shows live, while also playing single-player games and multiplayer games. I also have a Patreon, where subscribers have access to hundreds of video and audio commentaries for films and cartoons, as well as podcasts and videocasts. In the meantime, thank you again for watching. Enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and react to the Monarch Legacy of Monsters teaser trailer. This is the new Apple spin-off series from the latest Godzilla films, I guess the Monsterverse, as they've been calling it. You know, that's what they've been calling it lately. And um, listen, I, 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 re I was a huge fan of Khan Skull Island, and I like Godzilla vs. Khan quite a bit. Was not a big fan of the previous two like Godzilla movies. Didn't didn't care for Godzilla 2014, did not care for King of the Monsters Chef. So I'm kind of like half and half with these Monsterverse films. But I am curious about this. I am a big Kurt Russell fan. I'm a big fan of his son, Wyatt Russell Chat, playing the same character. I guess it's about them hunting ka uh, kaiju across the world and cataloging kaiju Chad. And apparently they were there the whole time during the events of all these films. We didn't see them, Chad. We just didn't see them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. I'll come back with my thoughts. You can make up your thoughts. on we'll a nice little conversation. There he is. I hope so. I can't go back in time and fix all the mistakes I made. John Goodman, you got eaten. But maybe I could leave something for the future. He got nom on. I like this shot. I like this footage. This old, like, stock footage. There he is. The world is on fire. I decided to do something about it. Hopes, dreams, ambitions. The mission was to protect their world. Yeah. And ours. It's what we wanted Monarch to be. Instead of chasing monsters. <laughs> if you come with me, you'll know everything, I promise. Giant Spider! Run, John Goodman! This is the first movie. Damn! Woo! Your breath stinks, Godzilla! And there you have it, Jack. Godzilla, or really, it's Monarch Legacy of Monsters, but it's the Godzilla TV series. Come on now. That's what that's what it really is. Uh, listen, like I said, you know, I've been very uh, half and half on these films. You know, love the, the I love the ones of King Kong. Did not care for the two standalone Godzilla movies. However, I am glad that uh, they're still trying to make this a thing, you know, Legendary is still trying to make this, this whole series, like, you know, continue on, like, we're gonna get another Godzilla and Con movie, Chad, I think it was called Godzilla X Con <laughs> or something or whatever, they're gonna make out, they're gonna, they're gonna get together finally, hopefully, Chad, hopefully, they're a nice, cute couple, uh, so we do have that, that's coming out next year, so, like, oh, this is kind of, like, I think, timed, uh, appropriately, Chad, like, hey, here's your TV series, and here's your next big monster slug fest, which I'm very curious about, but I am looking forward to this. Hey, we got John Goodman back. You know, I, I'm a huge John Goodman fan, chat. I liked his character a lot in, in Colin Sky Island, so it's definitely going to do some flashbacks with him since he got eaten. I wonder if they regret it because it's like, hey, we're going to have this guy come in because he's like kind of the founder of Monarch. You know, that's what he originally was, and like no one took him seriously until he brought all that photographic evidence of, you know, of monsters when he was on Skull Island. But then he got nommed, and so I was like, oh, no. <laughs> So maybe they're like, ah, maybe we should have done that. So they're probably gonna do like a lot of, um, a lot of uh, like flashbacks. And it looks like, like at one point in the trailer, we see him like running. It looks like he was in the forest with the giant spider that like pierced that one guy through his mouth. And so I'm guessing that's what's, um, that's what's happening. So, but yeah, I mean, it looks fun. And I like Kurt Russell. And I like Wyatt Russell chat. And it's like, hey, you know, they're they're chasing giant monsters. That sounds cool. Like the one, my one. Big criticism, I think, of all the movies 
Uh, I mean, not so much Scotland, because I think Scotland did it pretty well. You know, they had some interesting characters, like John C. Riley and stuff. Like, they definitely stood out. Samuel Jackson was, I think, fun. John Goodman was, was fun, right? Um, but, like, all the other films, like, they've, they've never really had good human drama. You know, not that the actors are bad. They just never gave them anything interesting to do. So this is their chance to actually do something interesting with, with the human characters. And um, I'm hoping they really lean into that and make us actually like them and not, you know, just uh, us checking our watches or checking our phones until the next big monster battle happens. Like, I want to be invested in the human characters. And I'm, and I'm hoping that is, that is something that will be at the forefront, along with all the fun monster action, Shay, along with all the Godzilla stuff and all the other kaiju. I mean, this is also an opportunity for them to debut um, other Toho monsters, um, and other maybe American kaiju that, that we haven't seen in, in decades. So that, I think, could be a lot of fun. So I am looking forward to that. I'm definitely going to give this a shot. I don't even have Apple TV, but you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and get, Actually, no, I, I actually do have Apple TV. That's right. <laughs> Yarr. I do have Apple TV. So I will be checking that out. But what about you guys? What do you think of Monarch Legacy of Monsters? This little teaser trailer. Let me know. I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and I want to take the time to tell you about my Patreon, Class in the Glass, which offers hundreds of film commentaries and video reactions to numerous movies, TV shows, and cartoons. If you're a fan of shows like Batman the Animated Series and Avatar The Last Airbender, or films like Aliens and Raiders of the Lost Ark, my Patreon is the platform for you. Currently, I'm doing a subathon to reach 75 subs on the platform. If we hit 75 subs, we'll be able to start voting on the next edited YouTube reaction, which will include actual clips and and scenes from the movies and shows I comment over. Choose from such films as Fire and Ice, Masters of the Universe, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the Movie, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, or Spawn. Subscribing at any tier level is appreciated, and feel free to give feedback at any time. Thank you again for watching the video, and see you next time.